Welcome back, everybody. Apparently, uh, we just learned up what the hell's going on. Apparently, uh, Gongoro was affected by emotions. So, yeah, that's basically what's going on. Uh, second of all, where the hell is it? Right here? Oh, I can kick that. Wait. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. There we go. So right here is a secret treasure. So yeah, uh, Gagora apparently wasn't such a dumbass at one point. He was apparently much like Kaim and the others. But I guess... Uh, When they came to this world, the emotions kind of affected them. And they, uh, I guess they each kind of experienced a little bit of a different effect. Kaim experienced, I guess, rage, sort of. Uh, the, fe uh, the feeling of uh, war, if you will. The thrill of fighting, I guess. I don't know. There's a bunch of the little stuff is what he. Uh, Balmore, uh, probably. The sense of adventure really is what motion that took over for her. Uh, Ming was probably compassion. She took over. Uh, she was taken over by compassion for all her people. And Sarah was probably love. Or gentleness, or I don't know. Something. And Gungoro was taken over by power. Lust for power, whatever you want to call it. So I guess each one of them was kind of taken over for a different emotion kind of invaded their bodies because they come from another world where they, such things do not exist. And, uh. Gungora apparently just went mad, so he's just a little bit more detail to his character and makes him, well, yeah, he's still the bad guy, but it makes him look like he's also the victim as well, but he's not entirely to blame. As you can tell, Gungora sounded pretty rather normal there, like he was actually a person. By the way, I have the Kilonglong blade equipped on Kaim. I believe that's the strongest sword, but it's also the ugliest. Booyah, mothers. So there. Though this is considered a side quest and I would normally put this in the side quest section because it's not really relevant to the story. You're not really relevant that you, you have to do it or you're forced to do it. But the fact is is that little bit of information kind of really uh, kind of really sets the game into play as to what's going on and gives you more understanding like who these people are where they came from you don't really learn what they've come from yet but you will eventually alright so now that you got that key before you can actually uh, can I get out of here? Oh, there we go. I just was stuck on the wall or something. That's what happens when you get really bad camera angles. So here we are back at uh, Gungor's mansion. I didn't mean to come into this room originally. Can I, did I get that? See, it's hard to tell if you get these cans. 
because there's no indication that you get them, so they're very easy to miss. I'm pretty sure I missed this one up. Yep, there we go. So next place we want to go is we want to head up here. So before we couldn't come in here because an automatic cutscene took place. This is where we met Jensen. Well, not met him, but it's where we were given our mission by Gungora. Okay, go back there. I see this right here. This is the stone that Jensen was hiding behind. Treasure chest right here. Four stone beast fangs. Three magic stones of some sort. I thought I saw something. Yeah, I knew I saw a reed. As the floating book, book comes by. This of research is unstable for this work due to noise effects in the magic engine measurements. Path was discovered leading underground to an old location. With proper setup, it may find use as an experiment lab. Accidental magic discharge occurred during experimentation, blah blah blah. Postponed due to danger involved, blah blah blah. Some hazardous material or some material lost. So after post accident investigation, I believe it was fallen through the waste vents. Converter via valves released. Postponed due to possible effects of other experiments, blah blah blah. All indoor experiments cancel experiment 221 classified as a failure. I have no clue what that means. Let's examine the desk here. Get us a power drink. Apparently Gungora likes to eat these pro or drink these proton protein drinks. That's what I assume it is. It's like booster insurer or something. And we have another record here. There we go. Hmm. Throne of the Gods. So there we get Gungora, what he's like, more like now, a little bit crazy in the head. So you get the two perspectives of Gungora, you know, not so bad guy, he just seems to be like a scientist who ends up going mad. And basically, that, that was his whole plot, and this became came to the royal house of Ura. He became king. And what he did was he credit grants staff to pretty much gain access because the magic mirrors from where Kaim and his party are from is what makes magic in this world. But uh, he can't control it. Uh, so basically that's what magic staffs for is he's creating magic staff so he can have magic so what I'm gonna do is I shall meet you on Ypsilon mountains so here we are back at the mountain peak uh, where we fought the griffin uh, I believe here we go 
technician from the... Oh yeah, that's right, it would be back there. I was going to say, what the hell's Magic Staff doing back there? So here's where another Magical Gator goes. So I will meet you at the Black Cave next. Or Kaim can have a dream. It's back in the sea of bounce. Or he can point out the obvious that I could see right here. Okay, that was completely... Kaim, seriously, you just pointed out what I can see with my own eyes. Anyways, I'll meet you at the Black Cave. So here we are in the Black Cave with the of the Great Hall of Fallow Creatures. That's where you fought the key-looking key things. It's been a while, I know, but I believe around here somewhere, I think maybe further up here. It's around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it is. There we go. It is. And Seth will set it up for us today. So the next place I am going to head to is the Ice Canyon. I shall see you there. So here we are at the Ice Canyon. I believe if you head up, yeah, right here, it is, there we go, so that's all four generator, uh, the magic thingies, you should have put one up at the temple, spirit place, whatever the hell it was called, when you went through there, otherwise the Ypsilon Mountains and the spirit place are the hardest to the because they're like halfway through the dungeon and you have to like go there and go through everything. So let's go to the Grand Staff Construction Base now that we've got our mana capsules or magic capsules, whatever. And the magic meters. And we'll see what we'll get for our great prize. I don't think it's really worth it, but we'll check it out anyways. to go in here. I think you can, if you didn't do the mini game to get down here at the beginning of the game, I think you could do it. I think they would just let you down after Grand Zaf. Yeah. That's all you freaking get. Not worth it. Half the errands you do, the crap you get isn't worth it. It really isn't. Okay, wait. There's pot there. Okay. There's so much stuff I missed in the beginning of the game because I just wasn't paying attention. The other place you want to go to is in here. We'll talk to this guy. No? Maybe this guy. We did. Yeah, if you want to... F Most of the stuff you get for errands is good for fashioning really strong rings and stuff like that, but it's not... It's, it's not very much worth it. There isn't a lot of accessories or anything that's worth a big deal of doing all this hassle, but oh well. We'll do it anyways. So let's head to the Pirate Fortress, shall we? Get a quick look at that before we go. Once you've already visited these places, you won't ever have to worry about where the hell they are again. Now, the thing I don't get is you needed the white boa to get to this place, but this is Sid's... Uh, Pirate base. That's a wicked uh, ship. Uh, is there one piece, eh? And pirates? 
Nah, 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 nah. Sid's all good. No one can get Sid. Hmm. Oh. Well, the ropeway is apparently not moving. Sid is going to fix it for us. How generous. Oh, what's wrong? Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, so basically here's another side quest where you have to look for our pirate buddies. But we'll do that another time. So folks, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.